Um, where does the NHS sit um, within a capitalist idea? Would you abolish it or would you keep it? So this is great because um, I can say pretty much anything to a British audience. And they'll go, oh, well, okay, yeah, we disagree, we agree. But if I say anything about the NHS, oh my God, <laughs> uh, it'd be dangerous for me to leave. Because you guys, I mean, for you, the NHS is like religion. It's like, it's unbelievable. And this is true. I mean, of course I'd abolish the NHS. The NHS is killing you guys. It is okay, okay, killing okay. you guys. This is, no well, let me finish. No let me finish. I just, I said it, sentence. I'm going to explain it. If you are cancer, if you're healthy, by the way, if you're young and healthy, the NHS is wonderful because you don't need it. You, you have a little bit of sniffles, you go into the doctor, they give you aspirin and they don't charge you and you think that's wonderful. It's heavy. But if you have cancer, or if you have heart disease, you do not want to be in the UK. Because you, because you, all, well, let me, let me finish. I get it. I get it. Because. Because you're going to wait in long lines for your MRI. You're going to wait in long lines for your CAT scan. You're going to wait in long lines for your surgery. The best doctors who are not making any money here are going to go overseas. They're going to go into the private sector. You are getting, and the older you get, the more this will affect you. You are getting mediocre, at best, mediocre treatment when you get really sick. Uh, okay, no, <laughs> Let I'm me afraid. finish. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, doctors earn, as compared to uh, the States, uh, le less. And in the States, doctors are earning less now because we're socializing healthcare in the United States. So doctors are leaving the profession, and we're getting fewer and fewer doctors in the United States. And there's a shortage of doctors. More patients, shortage of doctors. As the, aging, as the population's aging, fewer doctors. If you want high-quality healthcare, if you want high-quality education, it's, it's, education and healthcare are, are some of the most important values we have in the world. The last people you want running it is the government. They have no incentive to make it work well. They don't, you don't have a customer relationship. There's no competition. There's no innovation. 75% of all innovation in the world in healthcare happens in the one country that has a little bit of freedom left in healthcare, which is the United States. I want, Every entrepreneur that goes in and makes a stupid little app for this thing, because this is the only place where we still have a little bit of freedom in the world, I wanted to think about how to build the best school in the world possible, to build a great educational product, because a mind is much more important than an app. I want him to figure out the next best way to cure cancer or heart disease. But if you take the profit motive out of those treatments, the incentive goes away, the motivation goes away. Not only that, going back to cost. What happens in freedom, in a free market, in every single product and service, every single one, is that as competition and innovation happen, prices go down and quality goes up. Just look at the world you live in. The stuff you take for granted is this stuff, because that's the stuff being produced. And what happens prices here? They go down and quality goes up. In everything that's true, except in two areas, healthcare and education. Why? because those are dominated, even in the United States, by government. Government perverts the incentives. It perverts the incentive to innovate. It perverts the incentive to compete. It perverts the incentive to keep prices down. It perverts the incentive to increase quality. Now, poor people in a real market economy could buy insurance. You know how much insurance, health insurance, in the United States, in places that have uh, very few regulations costs? Less than your monthly cell phone bill. That's how much it costs to get insurance in, in, in places. And that's why people who believe in socialized medicine don't want insurance companies in the United States to compete across state lines. Because they don't want the truth to be discovered that in some places in the US, you can buy health insurance for less than a cell phone bill. Now, every poor person in America, almost 95%, I think, have cell phones. Healthcare is more important than a cell phone. You can give up a cell phone. Go buy insurance. Right? Now, that's in a world where we've got massive regulations. Imagine if there were no regulations, all those costs, all that insanity that the government brings to the insurance market. I, for example, I'm, I'm 53 years old. I've got two sons a little older than you guys. Um, I'm not going to have any more kids. My wife's done. We were done <laughs> 20 years ago. We were done, right? right? I mean, even if we wanted to, we couldn't at this point. It's the reality. I have to buy maternity coverage. 
because the state of California has decided that you cannot sell an insurance policy in California without maternity coverage. So guess what? I pay more money than I should, much more money. than You know, I'm never going to do acupuncture. I tried it a long time ago. I'm not going to do acupuncture. It doesn't work for me. I don't know if it works for you. It doesn't work for me. In the state of California, I buy coverage that covers acupuncture. But I'm never going to use it. I still have to pay for it. So the insanity of the government telling me what's good for me, of the government determining to me for you what kind of insurance, raises the cost and reduces the quality. The best thing you can do for healthcare. By the way, I come from a country with socialized medicine, as socialized as the NHS, which is Israel. And Israel has a pretty good healthcare system because it has lots of doctors. Why does Israel have a lot of doctors? Because it's the Jewish state, right? It has a lot of doctors. And they're good doctors. But if you're really, really sick in Israel and you have the money, you fly to the United States of America. When Berlusconi in Italy gets sick, he doesn't come to the UK to benefit from the NHS. He goes to the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. That's the standard. The standard is the Mayo Clinic. And figuring out how to provide the Mayo Clinic to poor people is an interesting issue. But you don't do it by socializing it. You don't do it by destroying the Mayo Clinic, which is what the NHS has done.